Hello, this is Miss Moore, and today during chemistry, we're going to continue our discussion on stoichiometry. Today we'll be talking about mass-mass conversions. Today's essential question. Given the mass of reactant used, how do you calculate the mass of products? Um, you will want today your calculators, your periodic tables, and your unit conversion tables. All right, good news is you actually know all the pieces you need to be able to do mass-mass conversions. It's not very different than what we've been doing so far with stoichiometry. It's just a lot longer problem. So what we're gonna do today is a practice problem. So here she is. If 34 grams of N2 are produced in this reaction, the reaction below there, what mass of water was also produced? So the very first thing we should do is identify our known and our unknown. So the known, again, is something that we have a number and a unit associated with. So our known is 34 grams of nitrogen. Our unknown is what we're looking for, and what we're looking for is the mass, which is grams, right, of H2O. So first step, write the grid and put our known in the grid, and our known is yellow. So we have 34 grams of nitrogen over one. And now we just start plugging stuff in. So we're at mass known, right? Because N2 is our known, so mass known. Let, um, let's go to our equalities here. If we're starting with mass known, that was supposed to be yellow. If we're starting with mass known, it's gonna be one mole known equals the molar mass of known, or molar mass known equals one mole known. And remember, molar mass comes from the periodic table. All right, so we had N2. So there is our nitrogen. We had two of them, right? So it'll be 14.01 grams times plus 14.01 grams, giving us 28.02 grams. So our first equality will be 28.02 grams N2 equals one mole N2. All right, and now we gotta figure out what goes on the bottom, what goes on the top. We have grams nitrogen at the top, which means we need grams nitrogen at the bottom, which means the other one, mole N2, goes at the top. All right, we'll cross out our units and molecules. We have gram N2 that crosses out gram N2. We are at mole N2. We wanted mass H2O, so we are not done yet. All right, so we're at mole N2. N2 is our known, so where do we go from here? Well, right here is our mole known, which means we're gonna use mole known equals mole unknown, and our blanks are the coefficients from the balanced equation. So our known was N2, our unknown was H2O. So those, those are the things we're gonna put in our equality. So for every two mole of our known, or N2, we also produce four moles of our unknown, or H2O. And we need to figure out what goes on the bottom. We have mole N2 at the top, and we want to try to cross that out, which means we need our mole N2 at the bottom there, which means that the H2O goes at the top. All right, let's cross out our units and our molecules. So mole N2 crosses out mole N2. We're left at mole H2O, which is our unknown. However, we wanted mass of H2O. So we're, we need to go starting from mole unknown. 
which is this guy here. So we're going to use one mole unknown equals the molar mass of unknown. And our unknown was H2O, right? So we need the mass of two hydrogens and one oxygen. So that will be, will that be 18.02 grams? So we're going to have one mole of water equals 18.02 grams of water. Okay, and let's see, we have moles up here at the top, moles of water, so we want moles of water at the bottom so we can cross things out like that. Okay, let's cross out our units and molecules. Mole H2O, whoa, let's try that again. Mole H2O crosses out mole H2O. We're at gram H2O, which is what we were looking for. So now we are done, except for multiplying across the top, bottom, dividing, figuring out sig figs and stuff. All right, so when I multiplied across the top, I got two, four, five, zero point seventy two grams H two O. And when I multiplied across the bottom, I got fifty six point zero four. All right, then when we divide, end up with forty three point seven. Three one six two, etc. Grams H two O. Now we got to figure out sig figs. Remember, sig figs comes from the given and anything we calculated. So let's see. Our given right here had four sig figs. Um, that's not calculated. This guy here, um, molar mass, we calculated that. So four sig figs. Those, none of those were calculated. This guy here, four sig figs, not calculated. All right, so four sig figs it is. So we're gonna keep those four. The first number we're gonna drop is a one, which is less than five. So our final answer is 43.73 grams H2O. And that's really all there is to mass mass conversions. The really, really important thing about doing stoichiometry, I've said this before, but let's, let's go through it one more time. You got to check what is known and what is unknown. You need to know that. You need to write your units and you need to write your atom or molecule. You need to cross things out. And it's really important that, let's clean this up a little bit, that you use these equalities, okay? It's really important you use these, exactly these. Don't make anything up, okay? Don't, don't use anything other than what's here, okay? Um, and then, of course, be careful about making calculator mistakes and stuff like that. Double check your work. All right, folks, that's it for today. Have a good one.